Hello everyone, my name is Anton and in this video I'm going to give you a little bit of a deeper dive on backlinks and how they work in Obsidian. So we have Obsidian open here. So I have two folders here I'm going to use for the purpose of this demonstration and an index file. So let's go ahead and create our initial file here and we'll just call this test. And in here we'll say test in personal, just so we know that this is the test in this personal folder. What I want to do is go into my index file here. We're just going to drag this on over and we see that it creates a backlink or an, a wiki link here to the test file over here. And if we also look here, we can see that we have the link here in this file, if we go to test, it creates another link. You won't see it in the, in the file itself, but if you open up the backlinks pane, you can see that it also created a backlink. So we have a couple different links here. We have one link that's in the index file that goes back to the test file. And then we have a backlink in the test file that shows that there is a link to this file. So hopefully that's clear. And this is some of the power of backlinks. When you link to a file, it's nice to know that if you start it out in this test file, that there's another relationship to this file. And we already are intentionally creating in the index file, a link to the external file. This is already here. It's good to know that on this file here, that there's a, another file linking to it. Now, what I want you to take note of too here is that we'll go ahead and remove this is the notation of the link. So it's just the name of the actual file here. So let's do something and let's delete this. Let's go into the work folder here and let's create another file. And let's assume that we forgot that we created a file called test. Now this could happen unintentionally. We're doing it intentionally here because I want to demonstrate something, but you know, a week down the road, 30 days, 60 days, however long you might create a file in your vault that has the same name as another file. And this is what will happen if that, if you, do that within your uh, Obsidian vault. Now we'll go ahead and put this as test, test and work. So we know that that's in the work folder. So we have test and personal, we have test and work. Now let's go to our index file here and let's drag in test and look at what happened to the file. It has work slash test. Well, okay, well, Let's go to the test and personal before it only had test in the square brackets. Guess what? We have personal slash test. Now this is because Obsidian knows that there are two files within his vault that has the same name. So it's creating this link in such a way that it's apparent that there are multiple files in this vault with the same name and it makes it easier to know which file you're linking to. Now we have these two links here to these different files. If we go into test, we still get the backlinks as normal. Go into the other one, we get the backlink and all is good here. So if we're in our index file, we know that there's multiple files out there that have the same name but we know their, their path within the vault. Okay, so I have another scenario here. So let's go ahead and clear the links out of the index file. And we will go ahead and delete both text files for now. Actually, we, yes, we wanna delete both of these just to be for, be sure that we get this right. So let's go ahead we'll create another test file here. Uh, test and personal. And what we'll do here is we will go to the index. We will create a link. We can see this link only has test in it. It does not have the path. 
Now let's go ahead and create an, another test file here, but we're going to create it and work. Now, as soon as I create that file, Obsidian prompts and says, Hey, there's a test file out or a, a link to a test file out there. Do you want to update the links to make sure uh, nothing gets confused basically, right? If you do nothing, what's going to happen is that the links to test will go to this test file. They will just switch over, but they're linking right now to a completely different file. So I think the message is a little confusing here. Do you want to update internal links that link to this file? Technically there is, there are no links to this file because we just created it. So, but what it's really saying is that there is a test file out there that has links to it. Do you want to update those links? So what we want to do here is go ahead and say, yes, we'll do it. You can do it always. Um, and there's a setting in the core plugins to configure this. We can also go ahead and do this once, or we can do nothing. Now we'll do both scenarios just to show you what happens here. So we'll go ahead and update just once. Now let's go to the test file. Well, we're on the, the test file that's in the work right now. Let's go ahead and look at the linked mentions. We see that there are no backlinks to this file, but it does show a mention here just because the name test. Now, if we go to the test in the personal folder here, we'll see that the personal um, the, the link itself now has changed and put the folder name slash the file name. So if we go into the index, we'll see that that has changed also. Okay. So let's delete this so that we can go ahead and show the other way. We'll delete this file here. We have no backlinks here. So, okay. We'll go in the index. We'll create this link again here. And then we'll go into work and we'll create this test file. We hit the create and we see we get the same message. So this time let's go ahead and click do not update and we'll see what happens. So we did not update and we can see what happened already here. We're on the work test file and in the backlink section here, we can see that it up updated the link to point to this file. So if we go into the index file here, it still says test, but if we do command click, it goes to the test file in work, not the one that we had underneath personal. And we can also see that there, there are no backlinks here. So this is one thing to be careful of. Um, if you, if you're concerned with this, I, myself, I would go into the the settings here under files, and I would go into automatically update the internal links and go ahead and turn that on just so that all the links are updating as they should update um, as you're moving files around. And maybe if you do get into the scenario where you create multiple, multiple files with the same file name. Okay. So I hope that that was helpful that that explained backlinks a little bit better in obsidian and how they work. If they found this helpful, then go ahead and like, and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, have a nice day.